Right guys, so today we're going out and we're doing a bit of live baiting on the river. Um, some people don't agree with it, um, but it is allowed on this river. It seems to do better than dead baiting. I've tried both and live baiting does seem to do a lot better on this river. So we're using some perch as live bait today. I've caught them from the river today um, about 10 minutes ago. So we're going to use them. It's not the type of fish I would usually use as live bait. I'd usually use roach, but... I only had my ultralight lair rod with me, so I could only catch perch. So yeah, I'm going to get to the peg and get all set up and wait for a bite, really. I'm not going to film the majority of me just waiting because I don't think that would be that fun. But I will film as soon as I get a bite. So we're going to get down to the river and give it a go. I don't know how long I'm going to stay, but I presume that this will be filmed over a few sessions. But today, we're going to spend about an hour, an hour and a half and try and get a nice fish out. bits I can get down to it's just finding the perch there we go Thrill. So I'm going to set the depth before I put the fish on. This is the worst part about this kind of fishing is just trying to get that depth dead on. So that's pretty dead on. We're using a rotary up trace with a weight on the bottom. This bit I'm going to put on my trace. So basically the way it should go is your top part should be tied to your line. Then coming down, this part should have a trace on which will connect to the fish and this part will have your weight on. So we're going to get the fish and I'll show you how I hook on fish onto these two trebles. Okay, so what you want to do, first treble through the top of that lip, like so. And then the second treble should just go through the back here, like that. So he's all ready to go. And I'm just putting him not that far out. Another key thing to remember to do is to always put your bait run on because otherwise your rod could get pulled in. So now that the float's out, we just have to sit and wait. Fingers crossed, we'll get a fish. All right, we've got our first take. Oh, he's off. Just missed our first take. That is gutting. That is absolutely gutting. Twenty minutes later. Oh, there we go. I think it's small. Maybe not. Might be all right. Please may you grab it. <laughs> Just move that out of the way. There. And I uh, need a longer one, really. Oh, he's nice. He's all right. one of the day. Oh. Wow. There he is. Absolutely. 
Oh, it's a nice one actually. There it goes. Straight away. Straight away. Hi. Yeah. Oh, he's off. Just dropped it down. That must have been a big one. Yeah. That was massive. He's ripped. Yeah, I need to get another perch now. So I really was not expecting that to happen. So basically what happened in that last clip was it was right after I'd just had that other fish. So I'd put my rod back into the water and straight away I had a take. I didn't know if my depth had just gone a bit funny because the river was actually rising, but something wasn't right. But basically didn't get a good enough strike into it. Um for it to stay on so it was barely hooked and it came off this fish was a big fish i could tell by how much force it was pulling with hopefully in the next few sessions we manage to get one as big as that okay so it is day two now of us trying to catch a bit of a bigger pike and um, we've got the rod set up just down there if you guys can see and yeah we're using roach today so we've caught a few roach instead of perch um just to see if that switches them on a bit more. So yeah, I'll come back when, hopefully, fingers crossed, I've got one. The perch were definitely on it today, but unfortunately the pike were not. I managed to catch well over 30 perch. It was just one after another. But this whole day we didn't have a single bite, which was pretty soul destroying. And um, we managed to catch quite a few roach as well. All the silverfish, all the perch were on it, just not the pike, which just wasn't what we wanted. Definitely is a shoal. We're getting bigger. Just absolutely inhaled that. Definitely getting bigger. Oh. Oh. Well, that's an unusual thing to happen. So this is the third day we've come out and if you guys know about all the flooding at the minute the river has actually flooded it's not massively flooded but it's definitely a bit debatable whether we're going to catch anything we are on live bait again um but i will show you, i'll turn the camera on and show you what it looks like this is the river it's not massively flooded but it is quite flooded usually you can see that boat there but at least the wind has died down a lot. And yeah, I'll come back to you guys if we catch anything. So just before the river had completely flooded and the storm hit, I did a bit of lure fishing for pike and I managed out this little clip before it got too flooded, like I'm gonna show you in a minute. He's gone. <laughs> I was lifting it out and he took it. Oh, a little greedy. Want that big. So I'm not too bothered about missing it. But yeah, that was a greedy, greedy little jack. All right, so we didn't actually manage to get anything. Um, it's a bit gutting, really. I've tried to make this video for three days, but 
Second time I went out, I didn't have anything. The first day, the bites went cold after like a few hours. And then, yeah, then the river's now in flood. So it's not been great, but I managed to get a little bit of content. And um, yeah, if you enjoyed, make sure to like, comment and subscribe. And there will be a few more videos live baiting because it's more so the fishing I do in winter. So watch out for those videos and I'll see you in the next one.